As I leave the Senate, I feel, I, I have to admit that it feels like we're losing the war for truth. And maybe it's already lost. And if that's the case, if, that, if that's what happens, then we have lost the ability to have the kinds of argument that help build consensus. Politics is about the improvement of people's lives. The American people know that to be true. And they fill me with hope for our future. Senator Al Franken in his farewell address yesterday on the Senate floor. I thought that was um, a little chilling to hear him talking about the war on truth because it does feel like we're well, in an all-out war on truth on every level. Uh, uh, a lot of it is chilling. And again, do you know who the first person was that announced that Al Franken was about to get attacked? Uh, I believe it was Roger, Roger, Roger Stone, Stone on Twitter Roger nine Stone. hours what, before what, the press conference. Why haven't we? Why ha, why Nobody haven't? wants to talk about oh, this because it's a, you why, risk. No, no, but uh, I, I'm, so I'm not even. Things. I'm not even talking about the accuser. I'm just saying I'm where all, all of these newspapers and all How of these I? online uh, websites are. Are, are going, are throwing all of their resources. Why hasn't anybody checked up and seen exactly how Roger Stone knew about this from a conservative talk radio host nine hours before it happened? It just, I'm just curious. Is there is no one curious out I'm there curious. that's doing all of these stories? I'm so yeah, but curious. But you can't be because you'll 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 get right. killed for saying it doesn't feel right in this case. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. did the Democrats? that all lined up and ran him out and then hugged him afterwards because they didn't believe in due process suddenly. They believe in due process, and then suddenly they didn't believe. We had James Lankford on yesterday. James Lankford believes in due process. Mm -hmm. The Republicans believe in due process. I'm just wondering, why is it that the Democrats believe in due process one second, and then the next second they don't believe in due process for Al Franken, a guy they've served with, and a guy they all went up and hugged after telling him to get the hell out of the Senate because of something that Roger Stone announced to the world. That is yesterday's Democrat, by the I, way. I, that is yesterday's Democrat navigating the fact that they were, I'm sorry to use the term, in bed with the Clintons. And so the utter, the unspeakable hypocrisy that they carry on their shoulders every day. That's yesterday's Democrat. Today's Democrat has to understand that we live in a new, honest, very complicated world, and that everybody involved with these situations has to call it as they see it, not call it as they, as they think the way the wind is blowing. And they went the way you know the wind was blowing with Al Franken, and you can say that I was victim shaming or whatever those words are. No, I'm looking at all these cases of sexual harassment. I'm looking at the accusers. I'm looking at the victims. I'm looking at the perpetrators. I'm talking to some of them on both sides, and every case is very different. This one, is political as well as problematic. It can be multifaceted unless you're yeah. yesterday's Democrat and you just go one well, way or, or the other or, with complete or, hypocrisy. Or if you are Kerry Nation, let's let's see how many people get that historical reference. <laughs> if you're Kerry Nation on Twitter yeah. and you just you just you want to be judgmental, you want to to, to throw the scarlet letter on everybody. You want to shoot first. You want to ask questions later. Yeah. I love the line that Barry Weiss said. Uh, as for me, I'm a feminist. And you know what? I still prefer due process over mob rule. In the case of Al Franken, why have no Democrats asked? What, what exactly well, Joe Manchin how Roger thinks Stone that he shouldn't resign. At, at, what, 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 and a lot of, a lot of people said He's he shouldn't resign. Guy. but. What, what, what about, and, and also the media. It's very interesting, the media, I wonder if the media is not overcompensating also for what they did during the Clinton era. When yes. Kathleen Willey, there was one story after another story just bashing her. Well, no, just bashing her. There were people actually saying that, that um, um, we need a Broderick. Yeah. You know, they, they would do articles attacking Juanita Broderick or, or suggesting that her story didn't hold up. They went after, and so now are they overcompensating and are they using, are they using Al Franken as a human sacrifice and not asking the basic question? Mm -hmm. 
How are you letting a political operation apparently run by Roger Stone, or at least known ahead of time by Roger Stone? Why aren't you just asking basic questions about this? It's, it seems, again, excuse me, it seems like due process, not such a bad thing. And I will say what you said and what a lot of other people have said in the past, if your movement brushes due process to the side and say what we're doing is more important than due process, that's just, that should I be a little warning sign case, for you because I promise you that never, ever ends well. I think ever. in this case, I think in this case we'll never know and anything is possible. Uh, but I think due process for the Democrats, uh, they replaced it with being dupes. Well, Joe, do you, do you subscribe to the strategy that was behind the Democrats? Well, we, we can't go after a pedophile like Roy Moore. We can't go after Donald Trump that has 16 women and says that they sexually assaulted him. If in any way we go through the process and we don't immediately chop off Frank and said, I, I never got well, that if, kind if, of if, chain if of you're, thinking. If you're, if, you're, if you're Kirsten Gillibrand, and you say there should be no differentiation between rape and grabbing somebody uh, uh, on the side or of the pedophilia. waist. It, or pedophilia. Or pedophilia or grabbing somebody. If you say that is uh, uh, an improper discussion to have, and other people have gone after Matt Damon saying that there, can, there is no shading. It, it, it's, it's just a flat line, and rape is the same thing as grabbing somebody on the side too tight during a picture. Then, then perhaps, but I think 99% of Americans and most rational people think, yes, there is a difference between what Harvey Weinstein did and what Glenn Thrush did. There is, there is a difference between what Harvey Weinstein did and what Al Franken was alleged to have done. And of course, I don't need M Mika for anybody to tell me or to tell you that all Behavior is abhorrent. Yeah. All of it must be called out and all of it must be punished. But we have a criminal law system that differentiates between murder and jaywalking. And we also have we need to do that here some too. men who are willing to face the music, who are willing to face the facts, who are willing to admit to their actions 10, 20 years ago, even five years ago. Mark Halperin is more than willing to meet with his accusers and apologize with them face to face. I've actually tried to offer him to them. They don't want to talk to him. They don't want to talk to him. One there, the are some, there are some uh, hypocrisies here. When things happen and men actually want to validate that truth, that's important that we actually allow that if we want to grow as a society and learn from each other. If we just want to strike people down for political motivation or for anger, we're not going to get anywhere. And I know I just said something incredibly, what's the word, <laughs> explosive. Truthful. But Truthful. I have been pouring through these cases. They're all different. They all involve people. They all involve people who have had terrible experiences in some cases. And some of them involve men who have sought counseling and who want to apologize, who may not ever come back to their careers in full form, but the question is, should they be allowed to apologize? Should they show that they know that things have changed, that, that perhaps maybe they want to actually come forward and, and talk about this? I'm not sure what we're doing here. I really don't know. And what happened with Al Franken doesn't feel right. It feels political. No. Yamish. I, I think that there is going to be a reckoning as we as people wade through these cases. Um, I think that people are going to realize that we that that at some point we're going to have to figure out as a society who what's the worst kind of behavior. What are the, what's the behavior that maybe merits some other kind of um, some other kind of looking at. I, I, but I think it's really hard because every woman's experience is going to be different, and mm -hmm. what one person thinks might might think, oh well, that was just groping. 
should someone keep their job if they feel as though they've groped dozens of women? Yes, there are obviously political political things at stake. There are people who are pushing this. You think about Senevich and what happened with John Conyers, the idea that he was pushing this, and, and, and there are political operatives out there that are definitely digging for sexual harassment cases because they want to take down Democrats or they want to take down Republicans. But then behind this, there are still women who are willing to come forward. In John Conyers' case, this was a woman who worked with him for more than a decade who said, yes, he, it, he did act inappropriate, well, um, inappropriately with me. So whether or not a Republican found that woman, the, the, the point of the matter was that John Conyers felt it, the need to resign. Yamiche, there was a lot of theater on the part of Democratic senators in the Al Franken case. As you know, they lined up, they were outraged, they were appalled by his behavior. He gave his speech, they all hugged him there on the floor of the Senate. And then when Roy Moore lost, when he was pushed off the stage, a group of them came out and said, you know what, Al Franken actually shouldn't resign. You right. know, now that I think about it, he shouldn't resign. We've asked on this show <laughs> over the last, uh, the last couple of weeks, time and again, of elected officials in the Democratic Party on TV, why not let Al Franken at least go through the ethics process? It's not a defense of his actions, but it would at least allow him some due process. And isn't it a dangerous precedent to not allow somebody to have their day, have their hearing? So what's the answer you hear on Capitol Hill? Why wasn't he given the ethics committee process that he volunteered for? I think the answer is because women in the Senate, Democratic women in the Senate, decided that they didn't want to serve alongside him. Remind, remember that when these, when this slew of statements came out, they started with Kristen Gillibrand, but then they started, then they, but then Kamala Harris and all these women um, came out ahead of their leadership and said, "We don't want to deal with this guy." And I think it's because there were stories that were continuing yeah, Mish, to pile I'm up. I'm sorry, I'm confused. These are the same people that support Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, and 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 benefited from them. I'm confused. What, what do you mean? The women, I, what I can say is that Democratic senators in the, it, essentially jumped in ahead of their leadership, jumped in front of Chuck Schumer, in, ahead of jumped their in front of Nance, and, and, said, and said, no, Al Franken. Now, of course, there are people who, the, the, the political side of this is that there are women who, who are interested in, in higher political offices that are saying that they wanted to make Al Franken an, an example, mainly because they also wanted to seize on the opportunity to show that they were a zero-tolerance um, Democratic Party. But, you know, I think maybe in, in the next year, Year, as, as more of these stories come out, there might be a reckoning there. Yeah. Speaking of the war on truth, uh, Ratner fact checks the president next.